Hey everyone, Dan Xavier here, and I'm gonna do a quick review on the HyperX Cloud 3 wireless headset, tell you what I think about it, and then you can decide if you wanna get one or not. Now the HyperX Cloud 3 wireless headset is a little pricey. It comes in at about 125 is what I paid for it. Sometimes you might get some Black Friday deals, etc., which Black Friday's coming up, so keep an eye out if that's what you're looking into. I actually enjoy the Cloud 3 wireless. I have I have the Cloud 2 wireless. I have used the Cloud 2 wired, and I have also used the Cloud 3. And uh, the Cloud 3 wireless, I think, has more like body to it. If you've ever used the Cloud 3 wired, it's got good sound separation, but it is what a lot of people complain about is it's not very like bassy. It works very good for like games like Valorant, but for whatever reason, the Cloud 3 wireless, which here it is, look at that beauty, has a little more bass. So for whatever reason, even though they're the same headset, the wireless version seems to have a more like full body, I guess you could say sound. And I'm not a, I'm not a huge audio head, but I have used a lot of gaming headsets in my life and I'm very picky about, about what I like in my gaming headsets. So the Cloud 3 wireless comes with a USB-C adapter, looks like this. And it also has a USB-A that it plugs into if you needed to use USB-A. So I thought that was cool that they added that in. And I actually have the Wicked cushions that are velour. I put those on it. I got them off Amazon for like 25 bucks. I still haven't decided how much I like them. I think they're a little cooler than the pads that come with the Cloud 3 wireless, but I haven't used them enough to decide like, are these better, are they not? They do take the um, headset off of my ears more. I have a big head too, by the way. And I do like that, and they do seem to be a little cooler. So overall, I'm happy with them. They might let a little more sound escape, but that doesn't bother me too much. And these aren't like my daily drivers, but I do really enjoy using them. So these come with, well, let's see what's attached. So the mic's attached, obviously, but it detaches. It can pull out like that. So that's pretty cool if you don't want to run the mic, if you're just playing games solo like I do, a lot of single player games don't really need the mic. And then you got three buttons on here. So the wheel, and then you got a power button that you can hold down. Here, let me tap on that. There we go, that's better. So you got a power button here, you got the mute button, and then you got the volume wheel. And it is a USB-C port, so that's kind of nice. Um, you just hold the button down until the light comes on, and it is good. Well, it hasn't connected, so. But if it connects, it actually has a, a voice that tells you it's connected. And then if you tap this power button, it'll actually tell you how much battery life is left. It'll say like 70%. So that's pretty cool. The Cloud3 Wireless also has side tone or some people call it mic monitoring so if you hold this mute button you can't really hear it anyways if you hold the mute button it'll uh, make a little beeping sound and then you can hear your own voice so i like side tone i like side tone or mic monitoring i like being able to like hear that kind of like pass through hear know that i'm speaking because if it's muted then you can't hear yourself talking but some people don't really like that so you do have the option of turning it off if you're not really into that and uh let's do a little a little sound test so what i'm gonna do is switch this mic out for this mic and then you can tell me what you think of it okay so this is the cloud 3 wireless mic tell me what you think in the comments let me know if you like the sound i've heard it sounds pretty good i've listened to audio recordings of myself i don't think it sounds too bad and this is actually plugged into my iphone 15 since the newer iphones have USB-C. So I plugged the USB-C dongle directly into my iPhone and I can use this with my iPhone. So take that for what it's worth. I think that's pretty cool if you wanna do videos and stuff with it. And it's also a pretty big bulky headset. So if you wanna look like one of the Rainbow Six guys, then that's kinda of cool. A little, a little added bonus, but yeah. Let me know what you think about the mic. I actually just listened to myself after um, recording that and it actually doesn't sound bad, at least on my phone. Now the audio processing, qu processing quality of the console, if you're on a console, sometimes it sounds a little worse. I've noticed on PS5, it doesn't sound quite as good, 
sometimes with headsets and PC, that's a little more adjustable. So it probably would sound a little more clear depending on what system you're using on. Unfortunately, it does not work with the Xbox via USB and there's it doesn't come with an additional wire like a USB-C to 3.5 or anything like that. So I'm not sure if it can work with the Xbox at all, but I don't think it does. Really wish I really wish these companies would change that and just let all headsets work on all systems. But you know what? Capitalism. So let me see if there's anything I'm missing. Overall, oh, this headband. Super comfy, by the way. I've used this for multiple hours. I probably probably the longest I've worn it without taking it off is maybe like four hours. I'm not like I don't go ham. I have a kid work full time so I, I don't get to do no like 10 hour gaming sessions like I used to back in the day but uh, it's a great headset it's a little pricey so the wired one you can get for like 60 70 bucks and this thing's like 125 bucks but if you're like me I I love like wireless I love being able to walk away with it if I need to go to the bathroom or if I need to run to the fridge the latency I don't really notice any issues but again I'm not like super sensitive to that kind of stuff but if I was going to compare this with the wired the wired's sound imaging seems better I've played Valorant with both of these and I feel like the wired version is just has a little more of an edge like I can just kind of clear precise hear those those footsteps and angles but these sound beautiful too as far as like sound imaging and like where everything's at on any game so I I'm I'm really impressed with the quality and I really like it so if I missed anything leave me a comment and I'll have no problem answering it um, I'm just getting started with these reviews, so I'll get better as I go. If you have any advice for me on what I could add to it that would help in my future videos, because I have a lot of headsets, I have a lot of peripherals, um, gaming stuff that I'm going to be reviewing in the future. So if you enjoy that kind of stuff, tech reviews, then um, I'd really appreciate a subscribe or not. Have a good day. I'm tired. So th there goes all my energy. Later.